What's up y'all, Kinetic Coach Dan here for Gaspari TV. We're gonna have an amazing leg workout today with Joanna, Krissa, and Amanda. We're gonna show you all kinds of different modalities and methods for building your legs. If you wanna integrate all of those, great. If you wanna just take a few bits and pieces of this workout, that's gonna be a fantastic way of integrating this incredible work that we're gonna do today into your workout so you can live the proven lifestyle and prove it daily. Let's get into a dynamic warm up so we can prepare for this crazy leg workout. So in a dynamic warm-up, we want to make sure that we're moving the body through multiple different patterns, positions, directions, and allowing the blood flow, the heart rate, to really kick up. Now we're going to a butt kick, swinging the heels back, getting that hamstring fired up, getting that glute fired up, that quad fired up. We're going to backpedal again. We do a lot of backpedaling in a leg workout dynamic warm-up because it creates better eccentric load through the hamstring. And again, we're just warming up the tissues to be more elastic for this intense workout. Back pedal again. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And because of all the bouncing that we're gonna do on the balls of the feet, we get better glute engagement throughout the workout because now the neurology is more engaged and we're just affording the brain and body a better opportunity to make a connection. We're gonna turn and side shuffle. and take it back. Again, we're moving through multiple different directions. So again, the side shuffle allows you to feel the lateral slings of the leg through the glutes and hamstrings working. So we're gonna take a little karaoke, right, turning the hips, getting the torso, learning to dance, getting the hips involved, right? That rotational movement is something that we need to spend more time developing and it allows our body to work in the transverse plane which most people typically avoid or flat out just don't program into their workouts and working in that transverse plane just gives you better variability in your movement pattern so we're going to go left right step left right step left right turn Face this way. All right, go left, 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 left. Left, right, step, boom, 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 boom. Nice. And that does it for our dynamic warm up. We're ready to take on this insane leg workout. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so we just got a great dynamic warm up done that's prepped us for the crazy leg workout that we're about to do. Joanna, Krissa, and Amanda are about to get smoked. We're gonna integrate all kinds of different amazing modalities and show you how to prove it on leg day. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get a leg-focused workout here with Joanna and Krissa and Amanda, and we're gonna make sure that we focus on quads first. As a wellness competitors, we wanna make sure that we get all the right balance between the right muscles. All right, so the exercises that we're gonna do are gonna be the pendulum squat, we're gonna do a lateral focused lunge to get that engagement in the lateral quad through the glute. We're gonna do a leg press with better spinal extension and we're gonna use a slant board with a goblet squat as well as the breath belt to get better engagement across the board. Check it out. We've got Joanna here on the slant board. Again, with a slightly wider foot position, she's gonna come down with a nice tall shoulder angle. Really focus on driving the knees out to each outer wall but still focusing on grabbing the floor with the big toe and creating balance between the quads, hamstrings, glutes, and adductors. And because of the heel position, we can really emphasize a nice strong torso position, create that intra-abdominal pressure as we drive through the heels and toes. And this allows us to get a much deeper lengthening of the hamstrings and glutes throughout the exercise. Now to make this even harder, Joanna's gonna push the weight out and then bring it in as she comes up. Boom, right? And that's gonna emphasize more shoulder, lat, and torso stability, which allows us to get just more bang for our buck on the exercise. No matter what kind of exercise you're doing, you want your entire body to be integrated as much as possible, and this just allows you to create more muscular engagement throughout. And last one, rest her feet are gonna be much higher on this 45 degree slant board here and allows you to get deeper into the quads, create that nice length in the quad as she comes down, that quad is stretching out, stretching out in that knee flexion position. Again, we have that 
principle of keeping the torso in an upright position so you can really focus on strong torso mechanics and get better quad engagement throughout. We're still rooting through the big toe and the heel, but because of that heel elevation, we really feel it in the quads. We're gonna do a double pulse at the bottom, so come down, double pulse for more time under tension in that eccentric load position. Three reps there, and we'll typically go for 15 to 20 reps on an exercise like this at this kind of a load. If we wanna get that real growth we'll do progressive overload over time. So over the course of her program, we're gonna to try to increase the weight on this exercise and focus on eight to 12 reps max rest. All right, so with Amanda here, we're working more dynamic body weight. This would be stuff that's great for a HIIT training session, stuff that gets your heart rate up and just really focuses on creating balance, stability, and control and understanding how to stabilize the body in all of these positions. We don't need a bunch of added weight. What we want to emphasize is getting the heart rate up, but also being able to maintain stabilization in this high heel position. Switch legs. We're still getting a lot of great time under tension. Switch legs. Switch to the left foot, there we go. And again, we're just allowing the body the opportunity to become more stable without added load, just creating body awareness that allows you to feel under control no matter what the added stimulus is. She's already got the breath belt on, which is gonna be taxing her breathing complex a little bit more with that elevated heart rate. And we're doing these double pulses at a faster rate for more reps to see how high we can drive the heart rate while maintaining stability. And one, two, rest, recover. Good. So here on the pendulum squat, we're focusing more on dynamic integration. So we've got the access board at Amanda's feet that's allowing her to get into those lateral slings a little more efficiently. She could feel those quads working like crazy, but because of the position of the access board, she can drive her knees out more and gets a nice balance between the glutes, the adductors, the hamstrings, and the quads throughout the entire exercise. The pendulum squat is challenging enough as it is, so we don't need to go with crazy weight here again. We're focusing on maximum repetition, maximum time under tension, and getting that heart rate up throughout the exercise to really tax the endurance system. When you create better endurance throughout the body, when you create better uh, metabolic efficiency in the system, the muscles have more opportunity to grow and rest. Rest. Last rep, last rep. You're good. So again, you can see here that we're working dynamic motion, right? She's gonna explode off one leg, catch with the other, and we're getting that plyometric value of the exercise using the same modality as we did to build better quads for Krissa, the same modality that we did for building better hamstrings and glutes for Joanna, and now for Amanda, we're getting that dynamic control, getting the heart rate up. She's gonna feel smoked after this exercise, but this has a lot of locomotive value, right? It's working on that one-legged strength and explosiveness, it's definitely getting the heart rate up. And rest. Good. Woo! Nice.